focus, the, the real emphasis is going to be on the magnesium. Some of you may ask, ask what kind of production did we see in the Wisconsin study? And so they, they followed milk production for seven weeks. And you'll notice there's a difference between second and third plus lactation cows. And you can see that the older cows uh, averaged with uh, product A, 112 pounds. Uh, the DCAD product, uh, they were at 100 and, and basically two pounds of milk. And so that difference is about 10 pounds of milk. So certainly that's another factor that leads into here. And when you're looking at the, which kinds of product you might be looking at. So if you're going to be uh, zeolite, remember we said with the DCAD, you must measure urine pH. With the zeolite, you must know, you must know how much phosphorus your cows are consuming in the close-up diet. And so you must know dry matter intake and phosphorus level. We'll see that here in just a minute. So you may wonder, what is the cost of this product? It'll jump around a little bit, vary from company to company, but somewhere is around a, a dollar and a half a pound. And in some herds, you're going to be feeding two thirds to a pound of product here. Do not feed for the entire uh, dry period. And we would not recommend any top dressing it because the risk is that some cows says, this top dress is good stuff. So I think I'll eat my share plus two other cows share. And now we really messed up three cows because of this one cow deciding she's going to eat the top dress out there in the program. Uh, this is an interesting slide, so hopefully you will have printed it off. Uh, this again is product A. Uh, product B will be slightly different in terms of how much product to feed. These numbers can go all the way from basically 7.5 to 10 grams of product, depending on its source out here. Notice the chart. Uh, we'll show you this in, this in metric in just a minute. Same chart. You'll see that if uh, the dry matter intake, for example, in the close-up group is uh, 26 pounds, which might be a pretty good number here. And if you're feeding 0.3 to 0.35, you'll be adding about 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.7 pounds of product A to the feeding program. And then you'll see the guidelines listed at the bottom for added dietary, total dietary calcium and dietary magnesium here in the feeding program. For you folks that like to look at metrics and are especially our European and Canadian colleagues, now you can see that that same chart. Again, uh, this is product A again. Uh, with it and you can see these are grams and for me I kind of look at that maybe a little bit easier so again if my cows are eating about uh, 11 kilos of dry matter and in that middle part again we'd be adding about three quarters of a pound or 320 grams so it really drives home the point you must know of those two numbers dry matter intake and phosphorus levels and I'm smiling here because on many farms I'm not even sure my lactating ration number are, are correct. And in this case, you've got to get these numbers right to take full benefits of the program. 